Perfect. All right, first up this morning, a new faith-based romantic comedy. The film is called Faith, Hope, and Love. It was recently nominated by the International Christian Film Festival for Best Picture, Best Screenplay, Best Actor, and Best Director. Yes, we are here now with the filmmaker, Robert Krantz. He grew up in Milwaukee. He is the producer, the director, the writer, and the lead actor. Co-director, actually. But oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I still yeah. bad, but it's I all right. Just, J.J. Yeah. Engler was a co-director with me as well. Is he watching? I don't know. <laughs> but it's I always fine. feel bad about that. If you know, you're a Christian, you're actually giving. <laughs> I want to, you know. Yeah. By the way, you know, uh, my wife and I have triplets. Oh, you do? Yeah, you? we're talking about national siblings. Yeah. So is the one who was born first and then the one a minute later and the one two minutes later, is it oldest You know, the middle? honest to God truth, I never paid attention because I didn't want to do that, you know, thing. But my yeah. wife knows all that stuff. So I never really know the order. I was just so grateful to God that they were born healthy right. and alive. Uh, two of them go to University of Chicago. One goes to Wash U, Washington, St. Louis. Oh, good. good for you. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. And Girls, you boys? Did, yeah. yeah. All, no, <laughs> all boys. All boys. <laughs> they, they broke everything in the house. But you know, yeah. all, all boys. Yeah, are, there, one, are those the only three you have? That was it. Oh, that, that was, was that was good. That Three was and done. Yeah, right? no, we, yeah, yeah, that was it. Although it would have been, you know, it would have been great to have a girl. That would have been. Yeah. I think that would have really mellowed. The, who we have now is Sophie, our dog now, who just kind of <laughs> mellowed the house out a little bit. But yeah. Cute. Congra congratulations to you on this film. Yeah. This Thank is you. Really exciting. Um, it actually opens today at the Marcus Majestic in Waukesha. Yeah. And that's where people will be able to see it. And yeah. and I know you're really hoping that people will get out and see it opening weekend because if it d does well, um, then it will expand hopefully into other cities right. and other theaters. We watched the trailer, the three of us. Um, together this morning and you got some big names in this film yeah it was well peter murgatroyd from uh, dancing with the stars her husband max has a little cameo in it as well um uh, corbin bernson's in it uh ed asner yeah just some really wonderful people michael richards from uh, uh kramer from seinfeld just some really great people and i think it all kind of began with everyone liking the script and then it kind of added name after name after name and it was peter's first acting job too really yeah which I was so proud of because when when I kind of said okay she's the one everyone told me don't don't hire her because you can't get a dancer to act in 39 days that's how soon we hired her before the film but she really worked hard and she listened to everything that I had to say and, and also uh, not to take anything away from her she had just a real natural talent for it and was really wonderful in it and if when you see the film you'll see Everyone loves her. If I could convince her of that, she's really I tough on herself. Well, but she's, she's really wonderful. That's typical she's actors. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. Really <laughs> I told Robert before we before he sat down that um, I, I I went down a rabbit hole with him yesterday online <laughs> because I, I I knew that he was coming in yeah. and I went and I I looked at everything that's online about you and the trailers for this film. People need to go online and look at these trailers because can I tell you, it looks really sweet and smart and beautiful. The film looks really beautiful Thank you. Thank you. and. I love a romantic comedy, and I'm telling you, this is the, it, it looks it looks right up my alley. If you read what people have, that have seen the film have said about it on Rotten Tomatoes and on Fandango and on Facebook, it's just overwhelming. We had a preview screening last night at the Majestic, and people were crying afterwards, and it, that happens every screening. People are crying. It's real emotional. It really hits people, um, and a lot of laughs too. And it's if, if uh, the three things I hear when people come out of it are number one. Uh, it's great to feel good about a movie, coming out of a movie, feeling good about life. Uh, two, thank you for making a faith-based film that doesn't pound me over the head with faith-based stuff. And then also, um, it's good to be at a movie where I can take my children and my grandparents and, and not be embarrassed. Yeah. And that, mm -hmm. that's what I was proud of. And can I tell you? You can dance, man. <laughs> Tell that to man. Pete and Max. You know, you know, believe good. me. You were good. Believe me, it was, uh, it was, you know, at a moment I was rehearsing with Pete and Max, and I remember thinking, what in God's name am I doing here? Right. They're so good. I mean, they're so good. Yeah. And I just, I thought this is like having my own Dancing with the Stars moment. But they're really, you know, they, she really helped me a lot. And, uh, and it really... Uh, I had taken some dance before, but next to them, you feel like, oh, a schmuck. You feel like a schmo. <laughs> How do you come up with this script? Mm -hmm. You know, the irony is I was at the gym one day, and I was, I was going to make a movie. Yeah, because you have some guns in the movie. <laughs> I was like, that? I noticed your biceps. Who did I'm like, that looks good. <laughs> 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 well, uh, yeah. uh, you know, what happened was I was at the gym one day and I was leaving. I was going to make a movie called Falling in Love with Sophia, a book I'd written. And as I was walking out, I saw this dance class. And by the time I got some water and sat down, it was no more than 10 feet. 
the idea came to me and I went home and wrote it down. I kept the piece of paper. It was seven years ago oh, that I wrote that. And then, and then just your imagination takes off and you start writing and writing and writing. And, um, mm -hmm. and you just, a lot of that inspiration comes from above and you, you try and follow through on it. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah. So are, you. are you three going to see it? Do I have a commitment? What time is it? Do I have a yeah. commitment? We're going to give the time right now, right? Yeah. It, here's the deal. It opens um, today. Um, people can see it at Marcus Majestic Cinema that's located in Waukesha. If you go to FHLmovie.com, it stands for Faith, Hope, and Love, um, dot com, you can find out more about it, see the trailer, find out about you. Um, but we got to get people to head out and see it so it goes yeah, to other cities the, and other The theaters. critical thing is by Monday morning, the theater owners will look, and if it does a good enough number, they will keep it, and other theaters will start booking it. So the Perfect. critical thing is to get out this, we'll this go. weekend. Okay, so yeah. we have it this weekend. All right, yeah, I'm there. That's our plans. Maybe we'll all go to so There was first. a reason why you came back, Molly, to <laughs> yeah. go see it. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful to meet you. The same Thank here. you so much. Thanks for having me back. Loved again. it.